<laughs> bro. <laughs> I saw this post and I was just like, <laughs> dead, bro. <laughs> Content creators be like, use this free champ for easy 25 Sand Devil team. <laughs> Three nuts and an Acrisia. <laughs> free champ, but you also need three nuts and an Acrisia and probably insane gear, dude. <laughs> I mean, it'd be like that though. And you only need mid game gear. That's what they say. With their mid game gear being 275 speed, 330 crit damage, and 400, uh, 400 accuracy plus. Merciless, Slayer, or Lethal, by the way. I don't have a good Merciless set yet. Uh, with Live Arena Hall oh, great maxed out. I'm gonna show off early game for a champion. Set speed to 340. Content creators. Let's see what this is. A. She did it though. I can't think of anything more pointless than a 52 minute video on a Brogly, on a Brogny less team where the guy says at around, oh, says, I don't know why I read that as says, says at around 40 minutes that it actually doesn't work and then just picks Brogny. And she is right. It really isn't hard to make it work without. Have you guys seen this? Sam came out with a video. I thought it was, I, I like Cole Red. I respect him as a creator, as an individual and, and everything. I've got nothing against him. I saw she did this video here. And then later on, she um, shows that Wixwill only takes like three champions for clan boss in her discord. I, I, I was blown away. It was insane that it's really simple and she like shows it in less than because the, the actual part where she's showing you guys is only like a minute. I thought that was crazy. And then she did the, uh, where is it? Dude, she, <laughs> she gave me a cameo. <laughs> I was not expecting this. And it's funny because there, there's just no masteries. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, that was that was funny to see. The knowledge and humor combo is killer. Thanks for making short and cool videos. Yeah, dude, Sam's a fucking base as fuck. Uh, 254, what is 254? Copy masters. Oh shit, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Women, why is she hating on CCs just because they pull more views and subs? 52 minutes for a do whatever you want. Just use some increased buff champions video is actually crazy. Yeah, this guy needs to chill. Daddy chill. This isn't you. Awesome video, love your content. I really don't know what to say here. Dorian making a comment, uh, cause uh, Dorian uh, showed up in the Discord. It's crazy, spot on. This was brilliant. Yes, the team is very easy to build, to be honest. Mr. Brito shout out, <laughs> and she did this. Oh God, awesome video. Earn sub with no hesitation. That's back to Modern Thinker, hell yeah. And then Boozer said, to be fair, Cole Red, it was likely his first crack at it, and he would have improved upon his original notions after this. Regardless, I laughed. Sorry, Cole Red. Nice video. Yeah, I like the I laughed, but sorry, Cole Red. It fails three out of a hundred times. Real talk though, Adeline mass uh, massively improved my Sand Devil team. She gets laughed about, but there's no shame in being a key champion for one specific area of the game. I I tried um, Adeline out a bit, and yeah, I think her sleep is pretty reliable. And then I think she places some extra debuffs to increase the damage against the Sand Devil. I personally don't run her because once I got Makage, I, I revamped the team again. Definitely a good champion for a lot of people. Also, you need 7k attack, 350 crit damage, and 600 accuracy. Free to play friendly. Another version is Adeline Nut 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 Lydia. Title is free to play Sand Devil team. Use this super easy and free team, but they all got mad gear with six star blessings. Oh, don't forget the plus fours. I think you need another nut. I wish CCs would make and manage their free to play accounts outside of HH's yearly competition. It makes account progress an actual thing, completing fusions a big deal, and makes it so much more relatable when putting together less than ideal comps to clear Hydra or Doom Tower. Also makes shard pull videos more engaging since a lot of epics and legos can be account changing, as opposed to the usual whale videos where they've already done everything and the game has nothing to offer and you just want a shiny new toy. I remember Cold Brew had a great free to play series early on in Raid that taught me a lot about building champs, gear cleansing, and resource uh, managing. I agree with, with a lot of what he's saying, but there's like an asterisk, especially this part. And I've said this before, early on in the days of Raid when shards were not that easy to come by unless you were paying for them. Yeah, dude, pulling 30 ancient shards used to mean something. Pulling <laughs> three <laughs> sacred shards used to be something. Nowadays, we're pulling a thousand ancient shards a hundred sacred shards, like it, it, an insane amount of shards where it's just like the, the excitement has 
kind of diminished. I don't really find excitement in pulling my fourth or fifth uh, freaking Gaius. I used to watch Cold Brew a long time ago. He did a free to play series and I think he was like, he even coined himself the Uncommon King or something because he, or was it the Common King? Because he was using a lot of common or uncommon champions. I forgot what they're called. Uh, the green ones. He was using a lot of greens. But the issue with doing this is it, it does have like a, a lifespan. Once I've done X amount of free to play videos talking about, you know, how to do this, it's kind of like, okay, well, what else do I talk about? Where, where do I go from there? Because even me, I get bored being free to play. The game can be free to play, but it's not really designed in a way that I think is easy for free to play players. And so once you get that information out, it's kind of like, all right, well, I'm bored. I want to go back to my actual account where I can do things instead of being stone blocked. Me, I've already spent years building that account and then, you know, obviously paying but I still spent a long time building it and I wanna go back to that. I don't wanna to have to go through the entire two year slog of getting to where I need to go. So that's why a lot of bigger content creators do free to play and then they they drop it. The last free to play account I did, I, I gave that account away cause I was like, I'm not gonna, it had Chronum on it and uh, some other like legendary, but it was just like, I'm not, I wasn't gonna do anything with it. Doesn't even have a Siffy to make it hundred percent. Content creators saying they're free to play or low spenders then getting a thousand to twelve hundred dollars worth of resources per month for free from Polarium because they're part of the content creator program is what ticks me off. Technically, you didn't spend the money for those resources, but nobody in their right mind is going to agree that it's a free to play account. I can't speak too much about this, but I understand where he's coming from. I'm going to speak as I am reacting to his comment. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny that I do or do not know about this specific thing. It sounds like a Discord question. If one was in the content creator program and if one was receiving in-game rewards worth this much, I would think that that individual would not say that they're free to play. I personally don't ever say that I'm free to play. I always say that I'm pay to win, but I'm also letting you guys know I've never, I haven't bought anything from Polarium since Nergigante Archer, but I still call myself pay to win. Even if you didn't spend the money, you still have a leg up. You st you're still getting an edge over the other other people. All CCs are clickbait. I try my best not to do clickbait stuff. Like I, I don't go out of my, my way to, like I'm not sitting there making thumbnails and titles and, and saying like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, try to make the clickbaitiest title to get people to click. If you guys look at my shit, I, I pretty much either quote what's in the video and I also put in the description and oftentimes I put the too long didn't watch version in the comment section or straight up like now for him to say all CCs, I'm, I'm just being particular here. But yeah, I think the great majority of content creators do do this, but then at the same time, it's all of YouTube, right? If you go to YouTube, like this is how it's run, right? All of YouTube is going to have clickbait right here. Like Asmund Gold, I watch a lot of Asmund Gold attractive girl this is considered like bad news or something because there's a mugshot this is this pops out it's an attractive thumbnail this speaks to you know this is an engaging scene against the second sister right or the ninth sister uh who i did not die to uh 90 times by the way ties video big bold numbers you see the damage you see thor this these two buff guys exposed with arrows pointing at him all of youtube is going to be clickbait no matter what it's not just raid in fact, if you go outside and you go to, I don't know, Burger King, they're gonna have clickbait outside there too. Just drive by, you'll see a big fat ass picture of a goddamn burger. Why do you think Americans like fast food so much? Why do you think advertisement companies run ads on YouTube videos? Everything is run on, on ads and clickbait to get people to either walk into the store or to watch the video. Look, fame hacking, this is Mr. Beast's face. This is another fame hacking thing. And look at this contrast. You have white versus red, two contrasting colors with notable characters. This is obviously clickbait. We have a huge expression here. This is what I do too. I use quotes. It says child slave, and it's got a picture of Ryan, who is a famous character. And boom, that's another clickbait title. Stellar Blade. Obviously, she's attractive. I'm killing Alpha M. That's another clickbait bait title. Don't ruin your life. Those big, bold words in the title. Pretty girl playing guitar. Clickbait. You know what I mean? It, it's all clickbait. <laughs> That's a long tangent to go off on, but it always kind of just ticks me off a little bit. Not because I take it personally, but it's also kind of like, dude, come on, it, it's everywhere. 
Out of Bella's got some interstellar gator skin boots. 